It was stated by Al-Fadl ibn Musa, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, in the book Siyar ala manubala, by Al-Imam Dhahabi. He said, Kana Fudhal ibn Iyad, shatirun yakta'u tariq. He said that Fudhal ibn Iyad, that he was a highway robber, that he used to rob the people on the roads. He was a highway robber. He used to jack the people, rob the people for all of their possessions. And the reason he repented is that he was in love with a woman. While he was climbing the wall to go see this woman, he heard somebody reciting the Quran. Hasn't it come time? The verses said, hasn't it come time for those who believe that their hearts are humbled and find fear from the remembrance of Allah and what has been revealed from the truth? He said, Bella Quran. He said, yes, the time has come. Yes, the time has come. And he went and he wandered throughout the night and he found himself near a building where some people had taken shelter for the night and they were taking tashawar between them, mushawara. Consultation between them, whether they should stay the night, or whether they should go upon the road. And they said, you don't want to go upon the road, because Fudal ibn Iyad, he is on the road robbing the people. He said, Allahumma, he said, oh Allah, inna ha huna qawmun min al-Muslimin, yakhafunani. He said, oh Allah, there are some people from the Muslims in this place that are afraid of me. Allahumma tubtu ilayk. وَجَعَلْتُ تَوْبَتِي مُجَاوَرَةِ الْبَيْتِ الْحَرَامِ He said, O oh Allah, I have repented to you, and I make my repentance to move to Mecca, to live next to the Kaaba. I make my repentance to move to Mecca. He was in Khurusan. I make my repentance to move to Mecca, to live near the Kaaba. He understood that he was a product of his environment. And that for a way to change his situation, the only way to change his situation was for him to move from that environment. Fudal ibn Iyad, if you don't know his name, you should. Fudal ibn Iyad, he was from the best of the best of the best of mankind. And the Umar agreed upon that. He was from the best of the tabi tabi'een. He was from the best of the best of the third generation of Islam. He was one of the greatest scholars of hadith and one of the most righteous people that ever walked the face of the earth. 